So hey everyone, welcome back to HNS Collectibles. Tonight we're taking a look at the Clockwork Orange 112 figure of Alex DeLarge. Uh, this is the character played by Malcolm McDowell in the classic Clockwork Orange. And one of my favorite 112 figures that I have, which actually is not too many, but uh, uh, definitely a good one. Uh, so taking a quick look at the box, um, where she got the logo there on the front. Uh, his eyelash and derby on the side and uh, uh, the back you get a rundown of what you get with him of course you get the figure you get seven hands uh, a pair of fists a pair of gripping hands a pair of open hands and then one wide right right wide open right hand uh, for holding his glass of milk you get the cane you get the knife you get the base and three different heads for Alex uh, and that's just some different shots of him that are posed. So, looking at the figure itself, again, right out here, uh, he's very good looking. Um, very, very accurate. Let's start with the base, though. I like the base. I like the bases on these 112s. My Ghostbusters has the Ghostbuster logo. Dawn of the Dead has, you know, that logo. Popeye has a big anchor. Um, you know they they do a, a nice touch with the base so uh, just looking at him up close I keep him posed uh, uh, holding his cane and with the uh, glass of milk in his hand uh, but lower that down and just get a good look at that face uh, that is a very very good likeness of uh, Malcolm McDowell and I like the way they've got his ears Kind of poking out of his hair like they did in the movie. Uh, this uh, derby does not come off. It is part of the head. And taking a look at the other two heads. So you've got his uh, uh, beat up and injured head with the, the bandages and the blood. I don't have that popped on all the way. Yeah, bloodied up with his bandages like at the end of the movie and, and also when he was getting ready to go to jail after getting hit by the police. And then you can have the the head where he's wearing his mask uh, that he wore when they attacked the, the lady. Um, yeah, uh, very interesting sculpt there, isn't it? Uh, I keep him posed with the... Uh, head with the derby on. I think that's the best looking one. He's got the eyelash uh, and taking a look at his clothes he's got the eyeballs uh, on his collar or no, his collar, his cuffs just like in the movie. He's got his uh, uh, I don't know, jock strap I guess you call that uh, that they wore. His clothes are very nice. His suspenders are are well done. Uh, one thing I love on these 112 figures is the stitch work. Uh, he's got some buttons printed on his shirt pockets. Uh, I uh, yeah, I love the stitch work, the way they keep the stitches small and try to make it look realistic to the scale. That is one area that Mezco definitely beats NECA in my opinion. Uh, of course his boots look pretty good and his pants are tucked into them. He pivots at the ankle so it's real easy to make it look a little bit weird if you have a misaligned and his boot does turn uh, so you can kind of pose that in a variety of ways uh, his other accessories that he comes with is his knife uh, you know as if he pulled it out of his cane and he's got different hands to hold on to that with and then the, uh, I guess the last accessory he comes with is his uh, glass of milk with, I think it was Drencrum, right? Uh, or Synthamask, I forget which one he said he was drinking. I think it was the milk with Drencrum. So uh, uh, there he is, very cool figure. Um, neat looking, I love Malcolm McDowell. Uh, he's a tremendous actor and always has been. I don't know if anybody watching has ever seen uh, uh, some of the other films with him, like Time After Time is a favorite of mine where he plays H.G. Wells. And of course his performance as Dr. Loomis in uh, 
Rob Zombie's Halloween. I think he was about the only good part of that movie. Um, and one thing I will show here real quick while we're on the topic of Malcolm McDowell. Uh, so this is from, uh, I believe this was in the, uh, I want to say the spring of 2015, maybe the summer of 2015. Uh, but we met uh, we met him at uh, a Days of the Dead convention, and you bought this ticket ahead of time to get his uh, autograph, just in case he had a big line. And actually, when we got there, he didn't have a line going, so we got to talk to him for a little while. And uh, uh, you know, he's he's just one of those people that when you you meet him, you're kind of in awe of him. Uh, great voice, great actor and uh, very nice to talk to very cool dude i'll flash up a picture of us with him at the end of this but but he wrote uh, two cody and sam best and then malcolm mcdowell so uh that's it for uh, uh clockwork orange and my malcolm mcdowell autograph so uh, uh like and subscribe uh, more videos yet to come and uh, more more Mezco 112s. I'll be doing some more videos of them here soon. So take care and I will talk to you later. And in the meantime, video well, like Alex would say.